Hey everyone, it's Marina. I'm here to do a design team project share with you. Um, this one is special because I've actually combined two of my design team projects. One is for Genevieve Designs, who I use the Ultimate DIY Scrapbook template for. Um, I've made a larger one before, and this one is my smaller one. And then the other design team is, the design team project is for Butterbee Scraps which is um, the metal embellishment. So these are two separate two separate shops, you guys. And I, of course, I will have the links below. And I'll also have um, the metal pieces that I used as much as I can find because I have a whole bunch, actually. I used a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, so these are all of the the metal pieces that I, or the um, items I used from um, Butterbee Scrap Store that I have in packaging still. The other stuff I used is from um, my stash or I had had previously before I joined the design team project and I don't have the code for them anymore. So these are the ones that I have now and um, I will be um, of course putting these in the description box below and I'll also be having um, a link to my uh, previous video of the larger journal that I made, not journal, it's a um, scrapbook that I made with using a Genevieve Design scrapbook template. So um, the paper collect, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I did. The paper collection that I used, of course, is Steampunk Debutante. That one is, um, I had been gifted some of the papers from Crafty Irina. Hi, Irene, and quite a few other ladies that had sent me some papers. So thank you so much, ladies, for sharing these papers with me because I have been making, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I've made a lot of, uh, or not a lot, but a few, quite a few um, Steampunk Debutante journals and mini albums, and that's because I wanted to use the stuff that was gifted to me. So, um on the spine here, I have um, this, oh gosh, I don't even know what to call this piece, but it was on a journal that I had in a swap with Rosemary, but it had fallen off, and um, so I wanted to use it and put it on something, and so that's on here. Um, the chain is from Butterbee's Scrap Store. I used rivets, and I put them through the extra space in the spine and attached these little pieces right here which are, let me dig through this pile, these right here. So that is these and I have them, I put the rivets in and then I put those on and then I put the cap on. And then I use the chain which is over here. And there's a, quite a few different sizes but this was the size that I ended up using on here. I've never done this before so um, I kind of like it. I hope it turned out well. And then on the back, I have um, some paper and some Butterbee Scraps um, metal corners. Uh, these are some just uh, gems and rhinestones that I had in my in my stash. And the ones on the front are from Butterbee Scrap Store. I like the glass uh, rhinestones because they are so shiny. Now, the gears that I used on the cover are a collection of ones from my stash in um, Butterbee Scrap Store. And I also, sorry, did I already say that I put leather on here? There's leather. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. This is, all this whole piece right here that I made is from her store, the shop. And um, I just, gosh, I did a lot of layering on this one. And I used a um, brad to hold them all together. So I, I, uh, gosh, what did I use? Patina. Patina Gilder's Paste Wax. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I used this on a lot of the metal. And I also used, uh, this was one that I had made previously. And it is the Patina from Vintage that I used on here. So I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of uh, layers here. So I have this metal piece right here. On the bottom, or not the very bottom, the very bottom is this one. And I put this on it. And then I layered it with one of these. And I pushed this down and I uh, put some Inca gold on the edges. And there's Inca gold on the edges of all of this. Um, so I kind of used these two together throughout the journal or the mini album. 
Uh, let's see what else. I have this one, which I cannot find. Um, I don't know what, I'll have to look, look up the codes for the ones that I can't find. Um, this piece is, where are they? The little ones right here. I use this little one and I hammered it down to make it a little bit flatter. And then this is actually a um, bead cap, which is a gold flower. And it actually has more to it than this. But what happened was I, I was trying to make the hole in the bead cap bigger so I could put the brad through. And when I, I used my crocodile and I like, I pushed really hard and um, the bead cap like fell apart. But I had these pieces here that were perfect. So I stuck them in here and it's pretty secure. And they're, um, I think they're really pretty. So it's just a little piece of the bead cap. It's not the whole thing. So that's that little thing there that I made. Um, I think that's everything. So, okay. For Genevieve Designs mini album or ultimate DIY scrapbook designs, she has a lot of different designs that you can make. There are, you know, there's the big one that I made before. And then there's the small one, and then there's like ones that you can make in banner form. You can make so many different ones, and I just made a a, a smaller one. And um, I made my own binding. I did a. She has. I used her because uh, you can print out the. Uh, gosh, I forgot what it's called. The spine. There's a spine piece that you put in here to hold all of your stuff together, and I printed that out for hers. But I made the cover um, out of chipboard and much chipboard but I am um, in reinforced it with some Tyvek so that way it'll hold together very well I don't I've been re I've reinforced pretty much everything with Tyvek now um, she has a design where she has all of her uh, on her playlist she has a way that you can do your spine and she shows you how to do everything if you want to uh, work with that and I will have a link for that below as well so you guys can you can do the cop I think it's called Copic Stitch. I haven't tried that yet, but I really need to because it looks like it's going to be interesting. So, okay, I'm going to go inside and show you what I did in the, in the mini album. So up here I have some metal pieces that I used from Butterbee Scrap Store and um, some flowers that were gifted to me from Crafty Irina. And then I took, um, I made some 6x4, well, it's a little bit over 6x4, that way there would be room for photos. And I used, where are they? these ones for tabs and I glued them on and then I also stuck a brad through them just to secure them I didn't want them to come off so and I just put a sticker on the back from the butter not the butter okay from the um, steampunk debutante sticker pack collection so um, what I liked about using the template is that or uh, the ultimate DIY template is that um, there's a lot of different options that you can do. There's lots of little cutouts that are left that you can um, put in your album or use later if you want to and I really did like that about it. Um, it's very simple to put together. Um, it's actually it's a lot of fun once you get going. Once you get started and you get going it's, it's a lot of fun. So um, here I just have a little flip out and a little envelope that I made and I put some uh, metal pieces on here. This one I embossed and I hammered it down and it is one of the larger bead caps over here. So I embossed it and then I just hammered it down and put it on there with a brad and inside is just a little tag. And I didn't want it to be all photo mats because I've done ones that are all photo mats and you know they look great it's just a uh, I wanted there to be like journaling options and you know just fun stuff so uh, this I made so that it comes off I didn't know where to put it in this album I was like flipping through the pages I didn't know what to do with it so I made it so that it's removable and they could be put anywhere really so um, next page there's double pocket I just put a tag in there and some little journal spots or photo spots and of course there are some gears and some embellishments from Butterbee Scrap Store um, and this is a flip out that I made and I've used all of I used uh, most of the things that I did in here as far as the layout is from um, Genevieve Designs uh, playlist 
and she had you can basically craft along with her and that's what I did I um, crafted along with her and made you know a lot of the ideas that she had I um, added them in here so this flips open and then this flips open and there's a pocket here and that is a magnet closure and I just put a belly band here with a gear one of the uh, gems from Butterbee Scrap Store and I just put some little pieces in here and a little grab spot at the bottom and then there's another little photo matter journal spot over here Check and make sure I'm in frame here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. And then there's another um, mat there. And then these are two areas that flip open. I really like how she designed this one because it looks really cool. So there's pockets here, or a pocket here, and then a pocket here. And so um, I tried to coordinate them so that they were kind of, you know, matching. And then um, I put some um, metal pieces here that I had patinaed. And then of course there's another pocket here. And then here was a fun um, project to do because she shows you how to do all this. I just matted both sides and a little bit of the inside. And then there's two journal spots or photo mats inside. And then it just goes in there. And I put another little flower down there. Here is another little envelope. Um, this is a sticker from the collection that I put on there. And this is a um, little pair of scissors from <laughs> Butterbee Scrap Store. I was going crazy figuring out what to do with this thing because I really wanted to use one of them. And so I kind of just stuck it on the envelope, which I really think is cute. Um, this envelope actually is from Steampunk Spells collection from um, Graphic 45. And I just have a tag in there. And a little clip that it goes on. So here's a die cut that I used. Um, and it, I actually put one metal thing here and one of the paper ones. And then there's a gear from Butter, uh, Butterbee Scraps mixed, uh, mixed gears. What is it? Yeah, it's small mixed gears. So I use a lot of those. And then um, I put little gems on this around it. I was trying to make it so that there was 12, but I messed up. So, oops, I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, wait, no, it's in the right place. Okay. Um, and then... This flips open, so there are two um, journal spots or photo spots, and then there's some. I took one of these flowers here, and then I um, I hammered it down so that it was flat. I cut it in half, and then I put two gears up here, and then I kind of put them so where they were. I pulled them apart and put them on here. That way you could see both sides of it. And then there's just a little photo mat in here. And another one. And then there's another envelope here. And it's got a tag inside that I just matted on and put a little butterfly on. This is this came with the whenever you make a purchase from Butterbee Scrap Store, she sends you this little tiny baggie with little little things inside that you can use. So there's like bead caps or little rhinestones and their uh, little butterflies and stuff so I used one of those and then there's also a tuck spot here and I actually made this so that you could stick that down and so this flips down and it's got a little matting here and then there's a tag and an insert in the pocket And then here's another tag, and I die cut a tag too, and a little insert here. And then there's another mat. And 
and then a couple more tags on the back and that's the back and that is the album <laughs> so I had a lot of fun making this I actually got really busy making it um, took me longer than I thought it would so um, I had a lot of fun and if you have any questions you guys um, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer for you um, I would definitely suggest trying out um, some of the Genevieve Designs printables. They're a lot of fun to work with. And I, what I like about them is that she um, crafts them with you, which makes it so much easier if there's any confusion. You can just refer to any of the um, any of her videos. And, yeah, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. All right, I hope you're all doing well. Bye.